As a major employer and large economic assets in the province, I believe it's important that the airport has a voice in important regional conversations. And a very significant conversation happened right now about improving regional transportation. We joined Civic Action's 32 Reason to Invest campaign because transportation solutions that reduce congestions are essential to our operation and future, future success as an airport and as a community. Only 4% of travelers and 8% of airport employees use transit to travel to and from the airport today. We hope to increase that amount in the future. Transportation, density, and quality of life are all issues that we need to address if we are to continue to offer a high standard of living in Ontario. We are here today to learn what Pearson employees believe is needed to have their commute easier. Over the course of today, members of our community relations team will be roving and engaging with airport employees and getting their inputs and ideas. Toronto Pearson is here to serve the people and business of Toronto meeting the increased need to compete with the rest of the world. Our, our vision is to be the premier gateway airport in North America. And we take our role and our place in this community proudly and seriously. Timely investments in airport infrastructure has positioned Toronto Pearson to be ready to meet the demands of travelers today and tomorrow. Toronto Pearson is now one of the fastest growing hub airport in North America connecting Ontario to more than 180 global destinations worldwide. And we're positioned to grow as our province and economy grows. Although I work at an airport, I know that people don't travel to airports. People travel to, through our airport to do business, visit families and friends, and go on vacation in, in, in Toronto or Ontario. Our, our role is to facilitate these connections. When people get to Toronto Pearson, they need an easy way to get to where they really want to go. Up Express, the construction of which you can see out the window behind you, will be in service by 2015 and will connect Pearson and Union Station with, with a 25 minute trip. Yet much more is needed. Good transportation is a prerequisite for a livable, vibrant city and healthy economy. On the world stage, it's also a prerequisite for a province that wants to attract investment, trade, and capitalize on emerging global markets. I'd like to thank the Premier for coming here and the Minister for coming here today. I'm committed to ensure that Pearson is playing its role as part of a transportation system that helps Toronto, Ontario, and Canada compete internationally. Thank you very much. It's my job just to say a few words and introduce uh, my dear friend and our Premier, Kathleen Wynne. You may know that uh, we're going through a period of fiscal restraint, so all of us as Ministers and MPPs have a five-year salary freeze. But I actually got, gave myself a raise last year, somewhere between seven and ten thousand dollars. And you probably are wondering, how the heck can I get a seven or ten thousand dollar raise? Yeah. <laughs> the, the Premier is particularly curious, right? <laughs> well, what I did is I got rid of my car. And that saved me between seven and ten thousand dollars a year. And, and when I come to the airport, how do I get to the airport? Well, I live at the distillery district, so I get on the King Street car. I go to uh, 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 the uh, uh, subway station in King Street. I take the subway, and then I take a bus here. And it costs me the enormous amount of a token, because I'm generally a cyclist, of $3. When you actually calculate how much a car costs you, it is so expensive that transportation now exceeds food as the second biggest cost item to Canadians after their shelter. So what we are trying to do is make life less expensive. We want everyone to get a seven to $10,000 raise which is why my friend Howard Eng and Mitzi Hunter and all our friends at uh, Civic Action are promoting not just saving 32 minutes, but make the transportation choice that's less expensive for you uh, and that's the fastest for you. Why are we building 15 rapid transit projects? It's so that you have more choice. So you can look at your household budget and if you live in Brampton and you have three or four cars, you can live with maybe two. 
And we know that every car that you retire, you're saving seven to ten thousand dollars in household costs. So we have to we have to work with all of you to make sure that uh, that we help our communities to grow in smart, sustainable ways. And I can't think of a better place that demonstrates the impact of this type of thinking than Pearson Airport. And as Howard said, the kind of planning that the airport has had to do over the years to make sure that it's ready for the changes that are happening in the GTHA. You've really had to be ahead of the curve, and I was aware of that when I was Minister of Transportation, and I was here looking out over the property and understanding the plans that you have for the future. So this airport supports more than 100,000 direct and indirect jobs, and those are uh, valuable jobs that let all of you contribute to the province, but we have to not forget that that kind of uh, job creation is attached to investment in infrastructure. So through your work, Toronto Pearson puts about $11.5 billion into Ontario's GDP, as Howard said, because you're the place that so many millions of people pass through. It's a place that facilitates trade and tourism and acts as a significant generator of economic activity for our province. So you all know that it has to work efficiently or people will find other options. So, and as I said, you are a group of people who understand how important infrastructure really is. You live in it. You are part of it. And so I want to encourage all of you to pledge your support to Civic Action's Your 32 campaign, 32 Reasons to Invest. What would you do with your extra 32 minutes? It's, uh, it's a great way of, of conceptualizing the difference that, in, that infrastructure, good infrastructure can, uh, can make. So we need people across the region to get behind our efforts to invest in vital infrastructure that will have that direct impact on all of us. We need to make sure that it's easy and seamless for them to get in the airport. And so that's why we've um, we've joined Civic Action in promoting the awareness that we need to improve regional transportation. Very nice. So you can go to that website, your32.com. There you go, show it off to your colleagues, tell them that there's something going out at Viscount all day, and you can learn more about the, uh, about the program.